I whittle out stuff anyway, so I, I figured I might as well just You can whittle me out. Start take, now. Take, I will. Take 20 if pounds you want. off of me. If you want, I can do all that. <laughs> In about 10 years. <laughs> A few days before my last enduro race, I had an emergency. I needed to replace my crank and bottom bracket. I couldn't do this myself, so I took it to my friend, Drew, from Revolution Mobile Bike Repair. So, uh, my name's Drew, Drew Cobb. Um, I run Revolution Mobile Bike Repair. I, you're standing in a, a bike shop on wheels. It uh, is, is a shop that, that does everything that a traditional bicycle brick and mortar store does. Mm -hmm but it runs by appointment at your office, at your house, at the trail, at wherever you need it. And mm -hmm. it's uh, do everything full service uh, from tune-ups to parts to bikes to all mm -hmm. of it. A side note, Brian Kennedy, you made the right choice with the magnetic tool hangers. <laughs> you said you said that tools like hardly no, ever fall yeah, off the, there. Uh, they, everything here rides when I'm rolling down the road. The only thing that ever falls off is every once in a while one of these one of those because they'll wait yep and that's it that's cool it's pretty and tough and i guess the other piece to me and it, it's important to a lot of my customers is um it's a relationship with mm -hmm. the person that's working on your bike you, mm -hmm. you know who's touching it you you hope that they're giving you solid advice you hope that they're taking care of you and it it makes a difference Especially when you start, you're into some of these higher tech full yeah. suspension mountain bikes yeah. and, and things like that. So this is that's the old one. This. That's still good if you want it. I probably won't ever need my old bottom bracket, but it's nice to have an artillery of spare parts. So you said it's something about the, these splines right here that are really yeah. Loose? So I suspect that this had been loose for a while and you had pedaled it and and worn these wider because they should oh. be tapered out right yeah to where when you push that on that mm -hmm. it gets tighter as you push on but it just goes all the way to the end and stops so that tells you that somewhere in here the mach the machining is it's like worn off. yeah oh, come on is this the same number of teeth the new one and the old one i don't know what do you run Whatever comes stock on the bike. <laughs> I got you a little bigger one. Nice. So I got you a 32. This is a 30. So now you have a choice, I guess. Yeah. Did I have an Atlas before? You had an Affect. An Affect? Yeah. So on the the more entry level crank, mm -hmm. they run a 24 mil spindle, and on the turbine stuff, they run an aluminum 30 mil spindle. So the changes that we're having to make are your bottom bracket. We're going from a 24 mil BSA threaded mm -hmm. to a 30 mil for bottom bracket. Those are confusing for a lot of people mm -hmm. because they, they don't really understand what they do. And basically they are a intermediary between your frame and the crank. You just have to match your frame to the crank. Santa Cruz's standard is a threaded shell. Uh huh. So we're always going to use a threaded bottom bracket for the part that goes into the frame. And then it's just a matter of matching the bearing size to the crank we're going to use. And then is there a difference? So we're moving from 24 to 30. Like, is there any difference in mechanical Advantage, power? Or? Yes, it'll be stiffer, but it'll also be lighter because we've just. Uh, when we've gone from a steel to an aluminum, there's probably yeah. four to five ounces just yeah. in the difference of the spindle. This is really pretty simple procedure if you have the right tools, is mm -hmm. what it turns out to be. I don't. There's two numbers here. One is going to be for the outside ring, and the other is going to be for the inside. So always a good idea to use just a, a good quality grease in the threads. It'll make it easy. Uh, when it 
comes time to pull it back out, it'll be sure that it threads smoothly. Do you have a specific kind that you recommend? I, or I like, this is Rock and Roll Red Devil. It's mm -hmm. just a, for what we're using it for is probably their just very basic grease. Mm -hmm. So Also goes good on peanut butter sandwiches. <laughs> And this is going to be hard to see in here, but they do tell you the direction that it threads in. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can see it right so there. Tighten this direction. Tighten drive. drive yep. Drive, drive side. side. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, the drive side is going to go on the drive side. Mm -hmm. And the arrows told us that it threads this direction. Same thing on the other side. It does tell you the thread direction on it to right here. Yep. Okay. And then we're going to follow the directions on the, uh, the bottom bracket to uh, the correct torque setting for it is 40 newton meters for, mm -hmm. the, for the bottom bracket. Put the finishing touches on it until it clicks. So we got the, uh, the bottom bracket in, it's torqued to spec. We're, uh, we're ready to install the crank now. With the bottom bracket we've got two dust caps. I prefer to, to go ahead and load this on first, mm -hmm. and then it'll allow me to put some grease on there too. It, there's likely going to be just a little bit of lateral play. Race face uses this little ring to take I out see. that play, so we're going to use that to to do the final uh, set to get the correct tension mm -hmm. on the bearing to where it spins smoothly, but there's no slop side to side. Any place that metal touches metal. Always a good idea to put some grease. But then I'm also going to coat this little machine splined area. Mm -hmm. So when I press on the drive side arm, uh, it will be easier to put it to take it off if, if we ever need to. And we're actually going to do the inside too, uh, where the bolt's going to go in. And then we're going to slide dust cap on there. And we'll line up those. Drive side arm. Alright, so now we've got it setting on. I'm just going to kind of hand tighten this because ultimately I want the torque wrench to do its job. And mm -hmm. um, one thing we want to be sure of here is that we've got this little tension ring mm -hmm. all the way to the side. So uh, per instructions on the on the crank, I'm at 50 newton meters. Well, I was surprised when I put on that, ro the rotor was five. Yep. And I was like, oh, well that's like that's not, not very much. Yeah, it's not yeah. much at all. So that's that's the fun thing about torque wrenches. It's just a good habit to get into. Yeah. It takes all the guesswork out of everything you do. You won't make any mistakes. Yeah. Well now, after I got that uh, torque wrench and, and used it to put on the rotor, I'm like, oh my God, what have, what have I what have I over torqued yeah. on my bike already yep. that I don't know about? Yep. That's it. The only thing we have left to do is Chain of pedals and crank boots, I guess. Another important place to put grease into anytime you take them off and to, is to clean and, and re lube are your pedal spindles mm -hmm. there. They are threaded right to left. Mm -hmm. There is definitely a left pedal and a right pedal. Uh, just a good rule of thumb that I've always used is you'll turn the screw or the spindle piece towards the front of the bike to put them on. Uh -huh. They'll always thread on no matter which side you're on. And to take them off, it's just the opposite. Off they go to the back of the bike. So no matter which side you're on, you don't ever have to worry about which thread is the opposite way. Mm -hmm. On to the front, off to the back. And you'll never have any trouble. We're done, dude. Awesome. Crank is, uh, crank is not very difficult. I don't believe it. It sounds like the bottom bracket's the really tough part. Uh, and it's not difficult, but it's again one of those, you gotta have the, the right tool. Yeah. Huge, huge thanks to Drew for fitting me in before the race. 
definitely go support his shop if you're in the Austin, Texas area. It's Revolution Mobile Bike Repair. Thanks to all you guys for watching. Make sure you smash that thumbs up, subscribe, click the bell for notifications, and until next time, stay shreddy.